Have you ever thought to yourself, I really need a professional brand. I need my branding to look amazing so that it attracts the right people, so it grows my business, but I just can't afford to hire a designer. And I'm not a designer myself. I don't have the skills to do that. So you feel sort of stuck because you don't have the money to outsource it and you don't have the skills to do it yourself. Well, what if I told you that you can confidently create your own unique brand yourself even if you're not a designer and if you can't currently afford to outsource all on your own. Well, not completely all on your own because I'm gonna guide you through how to do it. DIY branding may seem overwhelming if you don't have any kind of design background. If you feel like I'm not that creative, I'm not really a designer, it might feel like something that's just impossible and something that you just can't do. But I wanna show you that it is something that you can actually take on. You just need to know the process, be able to tap into the creativity that everybody does have and learn some design fundamentals and principles that will make sure that your designs always look good. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing some key steps to creating a standout brand that looks professional without having to outsource or hire a designer. So let's take a look at the steps you need to take to build a brand from scratch, even if you aren't a designer. Now, a lot of people, when they go to approach branding, think that they need to jump straight into design. They need to, first of all, look for some inspiration. What kind of look and style do I want? and then launch straight into designing it from there. But there's a whole big step that people are missing that can make a huge difference. Before any designing happens, you really need to get clear on your brand's message, what it is that you want your brand to communicate. So even if you think you're not a designer, you're not that creative, the first step doesn't even require those skills. So first of all, we really need to get our brand foundations really solid and clear. So this means thinking about what our brand message is, who our audience is, what our offers are, and how we want to make people feel. So really thinking about what it is that we want to portray through our branding and who we're trying to attract. You also want to be thinking about what sets you apart. So if you are in a really saturated niche, what kind of things make you different? So this could be things like your values or even things like your personality, things that make you a little bit different that would attract certain people to you over others. You might have the same kind of offers, and offer it to the same kind of people, but there's something about your brand that draws people to you and you really need to be tapping into that as well. So a quick little exercise to start you thinking about this, I want you to think of three words that you would want people to associate with your brand. So for example, three words for a brand might be simplicity, femininity, and natural. Now when I say these three words, you probably start to picture a certain type of brand and that's what you need to be doing for yourself. What three words would you want people to associate with your brand. Doing this exercise can start getting you thinking about that message, what it is you want people to feel, what it is that you want to communicate about your brand. And then also who are the people that are gonna be attracted to that? Because obviously some people are gonna love a brand like that and others are not gonna be into it. So it's really important we're setting ourselves apart in that way. So the next step of the branding process, once we've got clear on what it is that we're trying to communicate, is finding the right visuals to communicate that message. So understanding visual communication. So again, you don't need design skills to learn this, to basically learn the psychology behind it. Feelings and emotions and things that we associate with different colors. How different fonts will position and give us a certain impression about a brand. And then things like the type of line you use, like a thick line versus a thin line is going to present a different kind of message. So this is something that I teach inside of brand design school because I think it's really important to to start to really understand visual communication because then rather than just trying to come up with a look and style and try and design something, you're first narrowing down at the type of things that is gonna communicate your brand message. So what kind of colors are going to communicate your message? What type of fonts are gonna communicate the right message? what style of graphics are gonna communicate that message. And then you're gonna find it so much easier to put together a color palette, choose some fonts, and then go about creating those other elements. So the more designy stuff, like working on a logo or little graphic elements, you can, with guidance, do this yourself, or you might find pre-made elements that you can adapt and make some changes to, or you might just want to outsource certain parts rather than having to outsource the whole entire brand identity. So you 
might just go to someone for a logo or just go to someone for a few graphic elements or an illustration. And that's going to be a lot more affordable for you than trying to outsource the whole brand identity. So you're going to be a lot more in control of it. You've decided this is my message. This is how I want to communicate it. And then you can choose how you want to go about creating that. But I do want to empower you too that you can do it. You don't have to be a designer because there's a process involved in creating and designing. And that is something that I can teach you. So your action step now, going back to those three words you came up with earlier, I want you to go onto Pinterest and put those three words in. Now I want you to put them together in the search so that they're grouped together. And you can always add words like aesthetic or style or photo shoot or look, help narrow down your search. So feel free to add some extra words to those three words if you want to and see what comes up. Start to notice the kinds of styles and things that come up that are communicating that message. So you could even start to put together a mood board as you start to see patterns there where you start to see similar things that are communicating that message. And as you go through that process, you'll start to notice the kinds of things that you associate with those words. And it's gonna help you start to understand how you can visually communicate that message. Now, step three is maintaining consistency. So once you have a solid brand identity where you've come up with your colors, your fonts, your logo and any other brand elements. It's so important that we apply these in a consistent way so that you're starting to create a brand that is memorable and recognizable. And what I teach in Brand Design School is how to create a brand style guide, a document that's going to house all your brand elements and also explain how they are used and give examples so that as you go to create graphics, you really have a strong guideline for how to stay consistent in your branding. And you're not going to stray or get carried away or get experimental. You have a really solid guide on how to apply that branding. And then of course, designing graphics for your business. Now to make sure that you maintain consistency in creating those graphics, you want to be referring to that brand style guide and you also want to make your life easier by creating some sets of templates. So thinking about graphics that you create really regularly, maybe it's Instagram graphics or Pinterest pins or YouTube thumbnails, things that you create often and creating a set of templates for them. You can freshen up those templates every few months if you want to, but having a set of templates where you take Take the time to make sure that they're on brand and they're all very cohesive and look really great together as a set. It's going to make things a lot easier. So if you're in a hurry and need to get a graphic out there, you're not going to be tempted to do something that's not quite on brand. You're going to have something you could easily grab and know that it's going to stay consistent with everything else you create. Now, if designing graphics for your business has been a struggle for you, maybe you've just always lent on pre-made templates or outsourcing and things like that. And every time you try to create something, you get frustrated. Well, what I like to teach my students is the design principles, because when you really understand what design principles are and the rules of design and how to use them, is you're going to suddenly find that designing isn't as hard as you think, because there's actually some rules that make sure that things look good. So when we actually understand those things, suddenly designing seems to fall into place a lot easier. We feel like we have a structure. We feel like we understand what to look for if something's not looking right. Like something feels off about that design. Could it be this? Could it be that? And you sort of have a bit of a checklist, ways that you can notice how a design isn't working and how you can make sure that your designs always look professional. But as I said, you don't need to be a designer to make this happen. By understanding the rules and principles of design, by getting really clear on what it is you want to communicate about your branding, all these things start to fall into place a lot easier. You start to realize that you don't need to be this super creative designer to be able to do this. And I can show you exactly how to do this even if you're just getting started. Now, Brand Design School is now open for enrollment. So if you'd like to learn more about Brand Design School, and join us inside so that you can create a standout brand and confidently become your own designer, make sure you check out the link in the description box below. Now, enrollment is only open for a limited time. So if this is something that you want to work on, if this is an area of your business you really want to improve for next year, now's the time to get those skills that you need so that you can feel confident in your branding and also feel confident creating graphics and putting your brand out there. So you're proud to share it. You're not hiding it away and thinking, oh, this looks terrible. 
you're actually going to chase opportunities. You're going to be proud to put your brand out and that is going to make your business grow. Not to mention the fact that when you have a strong brand identity, people are going to start to recognize you. You're going to be memorable and you're going to be familiar and build trust. And as a whole, it's just really going to help grow your business. So if you're ready to DIY your brand with confidence, make sure you check out that link and I can't wait to help you through your journey to creating your brand and becoming your own designer.